Good morning, everyone. Happy Memorial Day weekend. It is Saturday, May 29th. And um, I tell you what, here at Wilderness Edge Campground in Millinocket, Maine, we are full. Um, normally, Scott and I and our cousins, Dale and Denise, uh, we have RV spots up here in the tent area and normally it is completely empty and we just have our own little isolated camping spot which is cool um but this weekend it's really super crowded uh lots of people lots of dogs lots of activity going on for this great holiday weekend and i hope you've got something wonderful planned to commemorate memorial day um of course memorial day we are commemorating um soldiers who gave their lives so that the United States of America could be a free nation, supporting self-determination for everyone. Um, and part of that weekend always seems to involve food, right? I am a total foodie. You know I'm a foodie. You know I love food. That's why I post recipes, because I love really good food. And um, I'm also a kitchen appliance junkie. Now, moving into an RV really challenged my, my uh, tendency to hoard kitchen appliances. Um, because in my last house, I had a huge kitchen, almost a commercial kitchen with every possible, uh, every possible kitchen appliance you could imagine. Um, I think I had, when I had my, I'm selling my house and buying an RV yard sale, I think I sold seven crock pots of various sizes from great big monster crock pots to, to the buffet style. It has like three separate crock pots in the same, in the same apparatus so that I could do buffet style crocking. Um, anyway, but there is one appliance that I refuse to give up and I'm so glad I have it because I tell you what I make like everything in it and that is my handy dandy Instapot. Now sometimes there's a learning curve there is definitely a learning curve with these things and I have not even come close to learning how to do everything like for instance um I think somewhere on here you can oh yeah see there's a yogurt button if I wanted to make my own yogurt uh I've not tried that yet. Maybe my friend Elizabeth could tell me how to make yogurt with the Instant Pot because I know she makes her own. Or maybe Meredith could tell me because I know she makes her own too. But um, anyway, there's yogurt that I haven't tried. I don't think I've done porridge. Is that oatmeal? Um, uh, I haven't done any like multigrain. I haven't used it as a rice cooker because I don't eat a lot of rice. I don't eat a lot of starch. Um, so multigrain I haven't used. I have used the steam. I use the saute function all the time over here. And I use the slow cook function and poultry and bean and chili meat stew soup. I use all, so basically I use this side, but not so much this side. But anyway, I use this thing all the time. Um, just the other night, I had like a complete, I had bought chicken at the market, whole chicken for 80, like 83 cents a pound. Who can pass that up? And so I had a whole chicken in the freezer and I had that thing on the table within an hour from frozen to on the table because of this bad boy. But there's a new, a new ish thing out there that um, I haven't had. And I've really wanted to try it because things like jicama fries, I don't think they know what jicama is over here, but um, if I could get my hands on some jicama, have you ever tried to make oven baked fry fries and they just don't come out like as crispy as you want? Yeah. So like making jicama fries or crispy fried ish chicken. Anyway, I got something yesterday, which I am so excited to show you. And it's in this box. Now, I will have to say, I don't use Amazon a whole lot. I'm not fond of them as a company. And so I'm not really promoting Amazon, but sometimes when you're out in the middle of nowhere, you just don't have a choice. So I did break down and I bought something off of Amazon. And I'm gonna open it up right now, and show you what that is. And you know, um, I had asked a few weeks ago on my Facebook page, um, you know, 
because I had asked, you know, my uh, friend's advice on what I should get to, uh, you know, if I needed to trade out my instant pot for this other new handy dandy, even more functioning appliance. And someone gave me this idea, so I, I did. I thought I'd try it. I, I love how, you know what? This is a huge box. And this is how big the box inside of it is. Oh my gosh, they spend so much money wasting space with boxes. But anyway, what I have here is an orange box with a new lid for my Instant Pot that turns it into an air fryer. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have no idea how this works. This is a nice box too. Look at that plastic handle and everything. Um, anyway, so here is the instruction book, and let me just see. Oh, it's not an instruction book. Oh my gosh. It's a recipe book. Oh, you better believe I am going to be trying these recipes. Of course, I will retool them so that uh, they fit my health plan, but recipes, you know, in my house, I... Another issue that I had uh, moving out of my house into an RV <laughs> was I had so many cookbooks. I've been collecting cookbooks since I was like 11 years old, and I think I still had pretty much all of them, and I really had to pare down the cookbooks that I had on board. And now, the only cookbooks that I have here are these. Where's that other one? Oh, well, I have this. High on the Hog, which is a book of hillbilly recipes, and I want to cook my way through this someday. And then I also have a, a cookbook called How to Cook and Serve a Sasquatch. So, of course, I'm going to have to cook my way through that. But anyway, so I got a whole new book of air fryer recipes, and here is the instruction. This is the instruction book. Um, so this has a trivet. Great trivet and we've got the, a new set of tongs and and I can always use more kitchen tongs it's true this has oh these have that that rubbery silicone stuff so that's pretty awesome and it's got this I don't know what this is but let's open it up and find out um, I'm dropping things. Okay. I still don't know what this is. Oh. Oh. Wait. It's a thing. I think it might be, um, I think it might be a hot pad. Let's see. I really have no, it's a silicone mat. There we go. Silicone mat. Yeah, silicone. I don't have a lot of silicone stuff in my kitchen, but, uh, but the stuff that I do have, I've heard is really good. Lots of wrapping. <gasps> okay, so here it is. Here's the stuff. Here's the stuff. I'm going to open it up to what I get in the, the, the page spread. Okay, um, so I can tell you what all this is. Okay, so this is the frying mesh mat. Ooh. And, um, oh, this is actually not a trivet. It's a steam rack. I should have known that. And silicone gloves. This actually came with a lot of stuff in it. I'm pretty impressed. Anyway, silicone gloves that I can't quite get into. Um, and this is, what is this? Oh, this is the lid itself. Okay. So, look at that. That is the lid that turns this into an air fryer. And it says it fits either the six or the eight quart. And these are all my other little instant pot appliance or uh, accessories. There are I, about three billion more accessories I could buy for it, but I don't have room in here. Anyway, this is supposed to fit both the six and the eight quart and it fits. It absolutely fits. So now, I have 
an instant pot and an air fryer and I didn't even have to buy a new appliance because I was really thinking I needed to swap this out for the newer model or buy the Ninja foodie and um, I just couldn't see spending 200 more dollars when I had this perfectly good instant pot and I will tell you what I for all their business practices that I don't approve of, sometimes I can get a really, really good deal off of Amazon. And uh, they gave me a random coupon. So I wound up getting this. Uh, I got this new attachment that turns my Instant Pot into an air fryer. Um, I got it for like $59. And if I had gone out and, and bought a replacement, if I had gotten this uh, regular retail price, it would have been like $90. And then if I had gotten a whole new appliance, it was like 200 So for $59, I have a brand new air fryer to try to make jicama fries with or whatever to work my way through this entire new recipe book. I saw air fried bang bang shrimp in here. And I know I have a bang bang shrimp recipe that's that that works with my uh, with my health plan. So um, I will be trying these recipes and letting you know how they go and maybe I'll even do a demo video one of these days. So anyway, that's my excitement for the weekend. I can't wait to get cooking with this thing. And uh, so thank you so much for popping on and watching me and you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend. I love all of you and I will see you later. Bye.